Hi, my name is Chris Richter and welcome to Moodle at Ricochet. We're going to look at Moodle admin hint number five, how to read log files in Moodle. There are two types of log files. Moodle has its own logs that are readable from the administrator console. Then there are other log files which are associated with the server log files, with PHP log files, with Apache log files. So there's, there is a collection of other important log files as well. But I'm going to show you how to look at the Moodle administration log files that you'll find very useful for quite a few reasons. Let's have a look. Go into your Moodle administration, select reports, scroll down to logs and choose logs. So for my site, I'm going to look at log files for the whole site to start with. All participants, all days, we'll just show whatever happens here. What I'm going to look at first is see if there are any site errors in all actions. So I'll choose get these logs. You will see here that there was some password logins and this is really useful to find this information out if someone says I logged in but or I tried to log in as password failure. You can look through for a particular user. So you can look for individual participants. You can also look at any other site errors that might have came up here. This is an interesting one, a web service authentication failed with an invalid token. I have to have a look at that one later. And a few more login fails where I haven't used the right password or I've tried to log in as somebody else as the wrong user. So that's site errors, all other activities. I'll change it back to and one thing that you may find people saying is I did not delete that. It wasn't my fault. I didn't delete it. You can choose delete, get these logs. And what you will see here is that particular person that said I didn't accidentally delete that course. It wasn't me. It wasn't my fault. Not that we're you know, picking on anybody, but you can see here that yes, it was me. And on that day at that time, I did actually delete the course with the ID number seven. Oops, sorry about that. Or I accidentally deleted that group with all of those students in it. You can see already that the Moodle log files, or the Moodle logs reports, is extremely useful. You can obviously look at quite a few other things. Now, it doesn't go into any more detail beyond this type of information. So you can't look at what was changed in the content of a page when it was edited. So don't go looking through these particular log files uh, for that information. But have a look through. You'll find it very useful. I hope that's been helpful to you. My name is Chris Richter from Moodle at Ricochet. I'll talk to you soon. If you uh, would like to know about some more of the top 10 admin tasks that a Moodle administrator should know about, click on the link below this video. I'll take you through how to clear a cache, how to run cron, how to set tasks, turning on debugging reading log files, edit the config, run automated backups, check performance overview, check security reports, and how to use the ad hoc database queries. I hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to check out more videos on how to make the most out of the Moodle learning management system.